Here's my response to another day of eating from Backwards Boy. Good morning. If he says it's morning, I'll guarantee it's actually evening time. I've been eating raw food for over five years. Uncooked body parts and animal secretions he's referring to. Not only does this obviously prove that we don't need cooked food to survive. He said we did. No animal in nature does. No animal in nature, hey? Good job you added on that qualifier. I often see domestic cats and dogs squabbling over whose turn it is to use the oven first. Believe it or not, biologically, we are animals. What? You mean to say that we are in fact not robots? Does not compute. And this will never change. It might do. We could all have our consciousness uploaded into a computer at some point for all you know. Mind you, I suppose you'd actually need to be conscious for that to happen, so you'll probably be okay. Which means that the laws of nature will always apply to us. What, like when an animal is best suited biologically to eating herbivorously eats animal flesh, they end up giving themselves heart disease, the number one cause of death in humans? Yep, I couldn't agree more. But I and many other people have also proven that we get healthier by eating our natural diet. Uh, you've proved nothing. You rely on anecdotes. The thing is, anyone can just say anything. In order to prove it, you'd need to actually supply evidence. I notice that you're empty-handed as always. Surprise, surprise. I will show you what I eat in a day nowadays. Oh, no. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Any right-minded person watching this will be repulsed and will possibly spew their guts up. Of course, opposite men here would disagree. Perhaps he hasn't noticed that there are exactly zero raw corpse and secretion restaurants. Meal one is the liver of a bovine which contains toxic levels of the dangerous pro-oxidant heme iron. It's clinically proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that heme iron raises your risk for all-cause mortality, certain cancers, heart disease, stroke and Alzheimer's disease. It also contains congealed bovine mammary secretions. A similarly unhealthy food-like substance that raises the risk for heart disease worse than beef fat. Looks truly delicious, doesn't it? All those different colours. The mouth-watering aroma. Oh my god. I'm going to eat half a melon. Did you say you were on the carnivore diet or carbivore diet? Oh well, at least you're getting something healthy in you. This is John, a subscriber of mine. How long have you been eating uh, raw meat and how do you feel from it? Uh, a couple years, I feel great. Yeah, you might think that you feel okay short term. Give it time though. Uh, more energy, more muscle. You sound about as energetic as Tommy Tortoise over there and you don't look terribly muscular. I'm far more muscular than both of you and I haven't dined on somebody's corpse in over a decade. All you need in order to grow muscle is to be in a slight caloric surplus and eat a modest amount of protein, which is found in all the plants. The reason I eat uh, melons, if any kind of fruit, is because the fiber is way easier on the gut. Generally, I try to not eat any fiber at all. Yeah, this is one huge reason why your diet is going to bite you in the ass sooner or later. Anyone who's up to date with clinical nutrition knows that we need to eat plenty of fiber to feed our good gut bugs so they can create the short chain fatty acids that are essential to health. But hey, you're against facts and evidence, so of course you wouldn't know that. How is your digestion compared to how it used to be when you used to eat the grains and whatnot? Way better. <laughs> how is your rampant atherosclerosis, you know, the thing that kills more humans than anything else? Was that? You don't know because you can't see it. Shame. Back when you used to eat a sort of plant-based diet, what health issues did you used to have? Um, I was a little underweight. You just needed to eat more. I was constipated all the time. I'm not. Perhaps you could have worked with a professional to see where you went so fundamentally wrong. <laughs> Sustainable seafood. Guess they didn't catch sea spiracy yet. Never mind, they'll be out of business soon. It's number one on Netflix. Being filmed. Yep, your sustainable sea corpse shop is ideal for Sverage's contrarian channel. Feeling like there's... You'll be for one. Nine eggs. Apart from the salmonella risk from eating eggs raw, they're chock full of saturates and have the most cholesterol of any food. They are far too high in choline, which pathogenic gut bacteria turn into trimethylamine. Once oxidized in the liver, this compound drives atherosclerosis deposition and makes it harder for your body to clear cholesterol out of the bloodstream. But again, heart disease is only the number one cause of death in humans, so, you know, don't worry too much. Looks good. Must be looking out of the window. All I can see are murder victims. No attractive colours. Certainly no enticing smell. 
How are these two individuals so confused about what's good and healthy for them to eat? There's like this earthy taste, which I like. <laughs> Look at him pretending that that muck is in any way enjoyable. <laughs> which always indicates that the liver is really good. Mmm, yes, food tasting like dirt equals nutrition. Mmm, right. It's local grass-fed. There you go. Raised. There you go. It's one yeah. of two farms in the state of Florida that they we process the meat on the farm. By process the meat, do you mean to say murder the animals? Why the euphemism? Does the word murder make you feel uncomfortable about all the murder that you fund? They have all kinds of interesting stuff in Japan. Yeah. Way more into the raw than anywhere else. Yeah, people think that they live longer because they eat some rice or something stupid. <laughs> yeah, silly facts. Even though it's obviously the raw animal. Obviously. Despite the fact that there's absolutely no evidence to support that. And the fact that the more animals we eat, raw or otherwise, the sooner we succumb to the diseases of affluence that kill like three quarters of us. You wouldn't let something as silly as the truth get in the way of your amusing flights of fantasy though, will you Sverage? I see what you mean by earthy. It's perfect because I'm just finishing my menstrual cycles. Great dinner time conversation. When I ate the uh, rotten eggs, people were saying that my breath probably smells, which is <laughs> very funny, of course. Of course, how could putting something that reeks to high heaven in your mouth possibly cause your breath to smell? What utter lunacy! It's actually generally impossible to smell bad if you eat your natural diet. Yeah, but what if you eat a load of weird, unpalatable shit like you do? Then, of course, also people have said um, that when I ate fermented liver, they imagine how bad the gas would be, even though I haven't farted in over five years now. People just don't understand this because uh, they smell all of the time. For one thing, it's perfectly healthy to pass wind. It's a natural part of the fermentation process where good gut bugs break down fiber. It's natural. I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Also, why he thinks it would have to smell is beyond me. The only time it would smell is if you were sick or you happen to eat animal products. The hydrogen sulfide produced is known as rotten egg gas for a reason. And uh, generally, I've gotten so many compliments about the way my sweat smells. What a bizarre thing to compliment someone about. Oh, Sverage, your body odor is absolutely divine. Eating all those corpses in dairy, I doubt it. Couldn't have anything to do with your stabby tendencies and people not wanting you to flip out on them for telling you the truth, hey? No, of course not. Uh, now click this.